What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part. Uh, we definitely had an interesting part because I had to post commentate over the last part because the recording wiped out. So um, yeah, last part we made it to Bowser's Castle and in this part we're going to do none other than basically just uh, try to see if we can get through the remainder of a... Uh, Try to get to this area at least, but uh, we made it out of a prison, so I uh, only get through a guard, uh, a guard door basically put us in prisons based on what I'm trying to say. But um, yeah, so there's gonna be like maybe three parts left, and they're all gonna be post commentated, so that really does suck. And uh, I was gonna work on these videos earlier, but I went on vacation, so uh, yeah, but that's aside the point, but um. Yeah, so we're just gonna put I'm just gonna post commentate over these last batch of videos, but um yeah, I think it's like maybe three videos that are left, but um So yeah, and then we will do the next playthrough, but um yeah now I know I don't like working on stuff like long for like highly edited content on that because like I can't do this all in one sitting because like uh I really wanted to get these videos out in schedule, like I scurried to get the first part out in schedule, but I couldn't get the remaining three, but um, anyway, stuff happens, but um, yeah, basically, we have to use Lack of Lester to basically get over the lava, so um, we have to use Paracarry to get across there, but um, yeah, so um, there's going to be two sections, and this section right here is also going to contain the last badge we have to get in the game, and after that, we'll officially have 100% Paper Mario, so that's nice. Okay, we're gonna switch to, I don't know, I did not mean to switch to Sushi right there, but uh, we're gonna switch to Lackluster, so uh, he can hover over lava, which uh, he has a different animation for hovering over lava, and he's slower hovering over lava than he is hovering over spikes, but... Um, And we have to use Bo to get out of here. It's interesting how some of the party members have like various uses like for this last project of the game. Like I've said before in this play that there isn't really a party member that goes to waste. And like, yeah, I can, you can pretty much get good uses out of like every single one of these party members. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I paused there, but uh, I'm trying to switch to Lack of Lester. But uh, anyway, so we can't go in there. So uh, we have to, Get across this lava pit. We just have to, uh, I'm just sw gonna switch out party members over here. I'm gonna switch to, I'll just stick with Lackluster. But, um, we have to fight these four, uh, Koopa Trolls and a Magic Koopa. These three Koopa Trolls and a Magic Koopa. But, uh, that's the switch that gets rid of the lava. So we can also claim the badge once we get the switch. But, uh, remember that badge that we couldn't get earlier? Yeah, that's what it's for. I really wish, like, again, I really wish, like, because I actually do like how this playthrough turned out up until the final recording session. It does, it does kind of suck that I have failed recording session at the very end, but, uh, I don't know, I have a backup plan in order to prevent something like this from happening again, but, um, but we're just going to Mega Quake to get rid of the, uh, Koopa Trolls, and we're going to Spine Flip to get rid of the Magic Koopa. Otherwise, the magic people will just run from battle, but, um... And we're gonna hit that switch. I don't know why I paused there, but we're gonna hit that switch. And I also recorded this footage, like, two and a half weeks ago, so it shows how behind schedule I am. I'm not sure when these final videos are gonna be posted, because I said in a community post, these final videos are gonna be a when it's done approach. Cause like this particular part's gonna be like 20 or 30 minutes. So yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of a while, but um, yeah, once we have hit the lava, we can actually go back to that castle entrance and claim that badge. And afterwards we will officially have 100% Paper Mario. So um, that'll be nice. So yeah, uh, we just have to go and claim the badge. And we, we do have to do a little bit of backfilling. You know, sometimes, like, paper... See, one thing, like, I am really looking forward to the Thousand Year Door remake. I'm not looking forward to some of the backtracking, playing that again. I'm, like... I'm hoping, like, the... I don't know. It's, like... The backtracking, I think, is worse than Thousand Year Door, mainly because, like, my biggest problem with Thousand Year Door 
is the movement speed is lower in compared to 64 and on top of that like that's my biggest hope about the thousand year door remake is that they fix the uh the slow moving speed the original hack is like mario can't spin in thousand year door so yeah even when even when you get the yoshi kid isn't much better but anyway we got a deep focus badge. the third deep focus badge that's the last badge we can get in the game because there are no star pieces in chapter we have all the tasty recipes we have all the chuck wisma quizzes so we have all the badges now so after we get through this castle we will officially have a hundred percent paper mario So yeah, I basically spent several hours basically just edit, adding the relevant tracks to these so um, the video is present watchable like you know I don't want like commentary over like dead silence in terms of game monitor because no one watched that so um yeah so I'm just have to add the commentary and the rain video will be posted um I really do want something like this to ever happen again so um Anyway, so we're gonna put the key in the uh, area. We're actually gonna need Watt for the next part. So, uh, like I said, there's not a party member that goes that really goes to waste in this uh, last chapter. Castle key, and uh, yeah, this area I've been pre I'm pretty good at being able to navigate, but uh, because I just turned brightness up, I have a general idea what the layout is. But you generally need Watt to just kind of maneuver around everywhere. And if you don't have Watt in your party, you cannot fight the enemies here. But uh, there's some new enemies. But um, yeah, they basically need Watt so you can see. But I've been able to. I've been pretty good at being able to. Pretty. I've been. I've gotten pretty good at being able to maneuver this. But um, anyway. So these are. Uh, what are the? What are these enemies again? Uh, yeah, the beat. They're. Uh, can't really read them. But uh, basically. Uh, we have spike shields, so we can just uh, jump on them normally. But uh, yeah, if you attack them with Watt, they'll go back into spike form. So uh, I didn't show that though. But uh, yes, we get, we're already uh, over a third of the way to uh, level up. So that'll be nice. But um, I think I level up HP up to forty in this uh, in the remaining in the remaining videos, and FP I think is also up to forty. I think that sounds about right. Yeah, you need paracarry to go across these areas. So, yeah, if you know, if you've played this enough, like I've seen speedrunners, like they do this completely without using Watt. I don't, I didn't go the right way, but uh, yeah, if you're able to, like, you can maneuver this pretty easily if you uh, a turn your brightness up or b just use paracarry. Turning your brightness up is another way to do it because I got a re-release like it looks a little iffy It's hard to do this method on like if, if you're playing on 64, but um Re-release just turn up the brightness. You'll be fine We're gonna avoid those Cuba trolls, but uh, we actually cannot we actually wait I'm thinking the next area, but uh, we need paracarry for that But the next gap you're gonna fall you're gonna want to fall down I think it's uh yeah it's it's actually up there yeah we want to fall down that and there's gonna be one last magic koopa yeah so i think it's gonna be three or four more parts um again sorry for the short video but i'm actually gonna cut it off for this part of paper mario after we talk to the guards so um Next time on Paper Mario, we're gonna do, um, then, um, yeah, we're gonna talk to the guard, and, uh, basically the guard's basically aggravated that we got out of the jail, and he lets us through. I'm gonna cut it off this part of Paper Mario, so next time on Paper Mario, we're gonna do, we're gonna go further and about this castle. See you guys then.